Today, what I find stunning is how very little the social era that has revolutionized our society has impacted our students' college learning environments. In particular, when students are learning in a fully online setting where physical walls, seats, and time constraints are no longer obstacles, this becomes especially problematic. I believe it's time to shift our paradigm in higher education and start to infuse our students' learning with social technologies. Doing so will make online learning human, connected, and real. These are all so many things that people still think online learning can't be. A recent study in California's community colleges by Raymond Kopp analyzed more than 4 million student records to understand the reasons in a staggering online achievement gap between white and Latino students. This chart compares the average grade distribution of white and Latino students in face-to-face -face and online classes. It illustrates the achievement gap that exists in both settings. But what's more startling is that the achievement gap increases 44% when Latinos make the move to learning online. COP's study sought to understand why. Now, when faculty and administrators were asked what they thought the factors were that contributed to the achievement gap for online Latino students, they identified technology, motivation, and language deficiencies. But when students were interviewed, a different story surfaced. No student deficiencies were identified. Rather, the single unifying factor that contributed to students struggling online was the fact that they didn't feel as if they knew their online instructor. Students felt unsuccessful with developing a relationship with their online instructors that enabled them to get the support and motivation they needed to learn and succeed. Relationships are especially critical in Latino culture, and it's one of the reasons Latino students are underrepresented in online classes. There's really no reason for an online class today to be cold and isolating. It's just not acceptable. In a social era like ours, online communications should be warm and filled with the human touch. These are precisely the issues that continue to cause so many faculty administrators to view online learning as inferior to face-to-face. -face. Creating, captioning, and embedding videos in an online class requires an instructor to have a computer with a webcam. That's it. Today, free screencasting tools are available that allow the easy creation of high-def videos. That's right, record anything on your computer screen, save it to your computer, or upload it to YouTube where you can caption it, set it to private, unlisted, or public, and embed it directly in your course materials. And you can do all that directly from your browser with no downloads. Interestingly, even with these accessible alternatives that are more likely to suit the working styles of faculty who today are more likely to be part-time and even teaching at multiple institutions, many of our higher ed institutions continue to purchase expensive enterprise-wide solutions for video that come with steep learning curves and fewer faculty are likely to adopt. Social video technologies do more than humanize online classes, however. They also build community. When online students are invited to make discussion contributions through video, the social bonds they form with their peers and instructor are deeply enriched. VoiceThread, the tool illustrated here, provides a social, asynchronous conversation space in which students converse using video around pieces of media which may themselves be videos. When video is embraced as an integral building block in the design of an online course, it can also play a role in transforming a learning environment 
from meeting the needs of a few learners, which is the way we've typically always done things, to meeting the needs of all learners. Layering video with text lucidly conveys abstract or complex ideas by presenting them visually. It also supports the needs of students with cognitive learning disabilities like dyslexia. And this is the largest demographic of disabled students in higher education, which is particularly significant for those of us who teach at two or four year public institutions. But we can't end the story here. We can't just point out what's great about video and leave things hanging. Innovation in teaching and learning needs to pick up the pace. And I believe that you are at the center of change today in education. In a social era, it's passionate, committed educators who care about the learning needs of their students who are going to drive change. I believe that more of us need to step up and participate and start sharing what it is that we're doing in our classes. And we need to use the tools that we're already using in our classes to help share what it is that we're doing. I believe that change will only begin and pick up and accelerate when we all start to participate and see ourselves as change agents. So let's do this. Let's make online learning real. Let's do it together.